bunch of fish on this one. Oh, look at him waking on you. You got him now. <laughs> Sick bite. On me, right here. You're able to see the bite because everything's on the surface. You know? Oh my god, the 3D inshore twitch bait is a must for your box. Okay, it comes from two and three quarter to five inches. It has the three different finishes that the inshore series is known for. The patented prism finish, the real prism finish, and the painted finish. I'm going to tell you that this bait is what it says it is. It's a twitch bait. In the retrieve, it's made to be twitching your rod tip, which kicks this bait side to side. Nothing really unique about that as a far as technique, but I want to talk to you about slowing it down and fishing it almost stationary. When I'm fishing the mangrove edges, for snook and redfish, I can cast this up to the edge of the mangroves and just, it's a suspending bait. So one or two cranks of the reel just to get it down a little bit. And then I just, with my rod tip, just twitch, 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 and get that bait staying in one place and kicking side to side. I'm able to fish in that strike zone for a longer period of time instead of just casting in and twitching and reeling it out. I'm able to entice the fish out of the mangroves. The other time I like to fish it stationary is in current. How many times have you seen bait fish sitting in current in the same place and twitching, flashing on the side like that? So when you find yourself in current situations, you could fish this and hold it true in the current and just twitch it and let it flash from side to side and let this prism do its job. The 3D Inshore Twitch Bait by Yozuri.